That map is awesome too. Let's let's find out. This is Pale Folk Keep. Huh. Oh, you know another thing about Shambler Knot's map? I was too distracted with Bill to notice the, the, the layout, like the block out. So let's see if we see the block out in this map at all. Oh, what? <laughs> I was trying to figure out what that was. I'm sure if I didn't look up, I would have just walked past, they would have snuck up behind me. This is a good one as well. Oh, there's a door here. That's a cool looking door. It is dark as hell for me. Hey, Quasi Otter, what's up? Did you make one of these? You did. Cool. I haven't played it yet. Very nice rock work. Those cascading stairs always look really cool. Really dig the rock work. I don't know if I mentioned that already. I just keep looking up. Quasi stream the pack, this pack in the morning. You know, it's interesting. Every Everybody making Quake maps now is also streaming them. So everybody's becoming a streamer too. I think the Quake, the Quake scene is doing a lot for everybody. turning otherwise players into artists, level designers, professional Twitch streamers. Oh, nice. Probably because we have to work at home now and we have the tech. Yeah. WFH has been, uh, oh, work from home has been a huge boon for my mapping. Nice. Just don't have to tell your employer about that. Dude, this is pretty neat. Oh. Cool. I'm not dead. I deserve to die. Hmm.
I gather he wanted me to run this way, but I had to just go against go against what he wanted. That's hilarious. <laughs> Little cardboard cutout shamblers. <laughs> Oh, okay. Oh! That was a surprise. That was quite a surprise indeed. He teased us with those little cardboard cutouts at first. Those little cutouts. Then he let loose the real deal. Uh, I'm not sure how I'm supposed to get to the gold key. I'll just keep going up this spiral. Oh, this is just a drop back down. I guess we can go that way, right? I missed the grenade launcher? And you did too? Well, this is why I like doing these playthroughs. And, you know, giving my commentary. Because it's like, there's something to learn with every map. What the hell was the grenade launcher? I didn't even know there was one. I assumed it would have been up ahead. Uh-oh. Oh, cool. Oh, crap. There's still 80 monsters? That was the build-up to the epic battle. There's supposed to be more. Maybe this button? Nice. I need to call tech support. Turn it off and on again. Let's try this again. Self-destruct activated. Dude, that's awesome. <laughs> Initiating arena battle. Okay, I'm gonna grab that quad now, I think. I'm dying! The grenade launcher was in the water? Uh, yeah, I'm way past... I'm way past the point of going to grab the... Well, here's the epic battle. We get a single dog. Poor guy. And then, yeah, yeah, uh, climbing this round portal is not too, not too hard. I'm not going to do it just for the sake of... I'm telling you, the ogre is the MVP of Quake. Let's try this again, okay? Self-destruct. I love that. 
You just fill the entire room with grenades like that. I gotta say, I'm just I'm not very good at not getting grenaded on. Alright, no dying edition. We're not getting hit by grenades. <laughs> this is insane. I guess if you just keep moving, it's not so bad. It's gotta get good. You know, I've, I've mentioned it in a couple of other, like, maps I've played, but I just don't see the excitement in, like, fighting a Shambler without having some kind of cover or something. Because they, they basically have, like, a hit-scan attack. Maybe I just need to get good though. Yeah, see, like I just get way weathered. The grenade launcher room also had armor. That would have made this fight a little easier. Yeah. <laughs> no, no, I'm gonna beat it. We're gonna get it. Pinchy says, boing. Yeah. We're doing it. It seems like it's not as bad towards the center either. Dodge him like a motherfucker. Oh man, more of them! What? <sighs> this is this is like an endurance. Hide behind the exit portal. Let's try that. I'm gonna hold out. Just gotta keep moving. Yeah, I'll get lucky and they'll kill themselves. I don't know why I didn't do that from the beginning. I guess I was so shell shocked. All the friggin' grenades. But what a fun uh, arena battle, you know? All right, pool boy, take it easy. Exit portal now open. Please leave the dimension in an orderly fashion. Also, we're out of gift bags. Sorry. I'll mail it to you. Four to six weeks for delivery? What the? So I gather that the, the, the 40 monsters I'm missing, more or less, those were zombies that I didn't kill? Or for the hackery that you needed in order to get those grenade launchers? 
did those were those monsters and fishies I, did I see fish yeah I didn't see them at, at all man Wait, did I kill rotfish? I missed an entire room. Uh. <clears throat> yeah, I would say um, if that grenade launch, if that grenade launcher room was crucial, uh, I would have made it so that there's no way the player cannot go in there. You know, um, in the case of an arena battle like this, maybe having that crucial armor outside of it would have been a good one too um but yeah one thing that i'm starting to, to understand is these critical items you want to build a set piece around them make them part of a set piece or something that way a player it catches the player's attention you know but the room was fine Thing is in the point you could access it you were busy reading twitch comments oh so it's me ah oh, I'm getting distracted by you guys it was underwater yeah I looked underwater and I didn't really see I just saw like an empty square let's go look at that room Let's go check it out. So, let's see, there was water over here where you get the silver key. It's a nicely laid out map and what it builds on, on top of the block out, I think is it's pretty substantial. Where was that? Oh, here. Right? Yeah, there's the silver key. Okay, so yeah, we drop here. Is this it? There's a fish. Oh, yeah. Oh, come on, man. The momentum I had when I grabbed the silver key put it right in front of you. Right in front of me. Yeah, the thing about it is, if like I have no need to go there. Like it's an optional path. Like the main path doesn't require me to go that way at all. So I could be disoriented in this water. And actually, I know what happened because I looked away this way. So I was looking in this direction. And then I turned here and I saw this. So if the grade, if the grenade launcher was indeed a requirement to beat the map, which we now know it isn't a requirement, so it's not a big deal. But if it were a requirement, you would want to put this room, uh, like maybe bar off the other room, have the player come in here, press a key, or press a button or something, or open it when they grab the grenade launcher, you know? That way, when they come back, like, like they wouldn't be able to go this way right off the bat. Like they'd have to go that way first. Since this was open to me, and I was like in the water, like, "Whoa, what's going on?" I looked here, and this is the way I went. So, I may have been distracted reading Twitch comments, but I think. The grenade launcher was entirely optional. Yeah, like, because it wasn't a requirement, it's not a big deal. But if it was, then yeah, you'd want to put that grenade launcher. You would want to block off the critical path until you get the grenade launcher or make it part of the critical path. You know? So, that's cool. This is It's a cool opportunity to talk about this little situation, you know? Leap Palm says it's technically not a requirement as he as I did beat it. Definitely makes the map seem unfair 
almost, so not enjoyable. Eh. It's just the zombies I missed out on. It's really not... The one thing is, uh, for someone who wants to get 100%, if they miss that room, it'd be impossible. But awesome. Like, what a fun conversation. We could talk about uh, a level design technicality. And overall, I don't think it took away too much from the map. It was still a very enjoyable map, you know? Not bad at all.